Cleanup duty took me forever, so now I'm late. Big sis, just let go of it for a minute. Don't worry, I've got it. Hmm? But it's so big and full already. Should I use my mouth now? No, not so hard. Uh, what are those two doing in the club room? I know, don't worry. I'll wash my nails and be gentle. How disgusting. What are you people doing? Huh? Hi, assistant. Masashi and Saki were just showing me techniques for balloon art. Uh, I knew that. To start off, we'll go over how to inflate your balloons. That seems a little overly basic. Make sure you stretch it out before you blow into it. Boring. I'm gonna get right to it. There's a trick to blowing it up with your mouth. Without that, it's a little frustrating, huh? Of course, I could do two of them with just my nose. I think you lose girl points for bragging about that one. Okay, everyone got your balloons? First up, let's try a little dog. Don't you think that's kind of advanced? You can make it with just codrow twists, so it's good for practice. Codrow twists? First, twist the balloon three times to make the bubbles. Fold the bubbles back on each other, and that's called a codrow twist. Then just repeat two more times. Yay! You've got your doggy! The trick is to twist with confidence. <sighs> it's a little more scary when you're actually trying to do it. How are you doing over there, senpai? I can't bring myself to twist them! That's not a bad haul. Uh, what kind of cruel person twists an innocent balloon? <laughs> My hands are exhausted from this. <sighs> I am done for today. You cannot leave your balloon looking like that. If you get tired, just stick it between your legs and take a rest. Hey, that's a good idea. That's an awful idea! Hmm. Seems like you don't get nervous when you're not doing magic. Now, instead of nervous, I'm just terrified. Huh? But look, you totally finished it. Whoa, what do you know? Hey, assistant! That sucks. My perfect little balloon doggy turned into Roe. How did you even manage that? Unfailing senpai. <laughs> hey, want to see something amazing? I can't wait. I've just discovered a new method that will make sure I never have to fail at magic again! Senpai. You're dying to know, aren't you? First of all, you shouldn't feel dumb or guilty. People get fooled by these scams all the time. It's not a scam! Come with me and I'll prove it to you! Now just watch and you'll see. Close the curtain and wait exactly one minute! Bye! Strangely quiet in there. I wonder if she's pouting because she can't get out. I'm opening the curtain now, senpai. Senpai? Where are you? Senpai? Strange. I thought the trick was about taking off the shackles, but maybe it was about disappearing instead. If so, then she actually succeeded. <laughs> trick successful. It's true I couldn't get the shackles off at all, but then I never claimed I was going to escape from them. So, victory! It's the perfect way to keep from ever failing at magic. I just have to change the stated goal afterward! But now it's getting hot in here, so maybe it's time to jump out and surprise him. Guess I'll take off. Huh? Oh no, I can't get it open! I'm stuck in here! Huh? Huh? Ah! Competitive Senpai. 
Yes? Come on in. Hi. The Magic Club door is still locked, so I need to go through the chemistry room to get in. Sure, go ahead. But, hold on. What? Why don't you take this with you? A cola? Hey, thanks, Madara. <laughs> but this one's no ordinary cola. Whoa, is it frozen inside? It uses a super cooling phenomenon. Super cooling? When liquid is slowly lowered to its freezing point, and then opened, moved, or otherwise stimulated, it will immediately freeze over. Ah, huh. how cool. Hi, everyone. Sorry I I'm so late. That, huh? that sounds like Assistant's voice. Every time I and it looks like he's really enjoying talking with her, too. About, I shouldn't it's interrupt them, I guess. I'll wait a little bit instead. As long as you're waiting for your senpai, let me show you something else. The tablecloth pull. That sounds like magic more than it does science. When you yank the tablecloth off of the table, things will stay put due to the law of inertia. An object at rest always tends to stay at rest. So if an object's stationary force exceeds the friction of the cloth getting pulled, you can pull out just the cloth. Huh. Let's begin the experiment. It's heavier than I thought. Look out! Is Assistant more interested in science than in magic? It sure seems like it. But then, he's in my club, not the science club. But what if he's been having secret chemistry club meetings that I just never saw? Maybe I'll just watch a little longer. <laughs> Whoa, are you all right? Yep, just took me by surprise. What's going on here? Senpai, it's not what you think. Which one means more to you, me or chemistry? Don't make this into something it's not. Now I see how it is. The time has come for us to fight for our honor as club leaders. You don't see anything. I'll go next and pull out the tablecloth. Now this is a competition? I'm sorry, Madara. I think she really just wants to pull the tablecloth. Such confidence. You think she can do this? I wouldn't get my hopes up. Here goes! This is quite remarkable. I admit it. I lose, you win. This is also remarkable. Nice and cool. And that's called heat vaporization. Science is so awesome! Yes, I'm so glad you think so! I always found her threatening because she promotes all that fraudulent magic, but she's actually proving herself to be pretty harmless. You really can't judge a book by its cover. I guess I still have some things to learn myself. Aww, aren't these people ever going to leave? Oh, this cool breeze feels so good. And they're multiplying. It's weird. It feels even colder when you're all wet. Don't blame me if you catch a cold. Hey, are you guys ever going to leave? Silent Senpai. Oh, would you take a look at that? Saki and Masashi aren't coming today, so I guess I'll just let them sleep. I'll try to do some magic in total silence. Hush! I'll start out by using this coin. And counter to the law of gravity, I'm going to make it fly. Holding the coin in my hand, I pinch it tight so the pressure will send the coin flying through the air. Be careful not to drop it. Hmm? Oh, I hope I didn't wake him up. Oh no! Mm. Yikes, he heard me! Oh, he's talking in his sleep. Probably having a sweet dream about me. <laughs> and now it's time for another couple of my assistants. All I need is this red handkerchief. When I place this over my hand, a pigeon will magically appear. <laughs> Not over there! <sighs> Got him. But where's the other one? <laughs> Good grief! How did you get inside there? I'm sure Glad Assistant didn't see that. Then again, I kind of miss whatever snarky comment he would have made. Whew! <laughs> Things were kind of dicey there for a minute, but at least I got some good practice out of it. Come on, Assistant, it's time to go home now. Assistant? Oh. Maybe I'll let him sleep a little while longer. <clears throat> All right, I'm almost finished. I can't believe I pretended to be asleep, thinking something good might happen. Bunny Senpai! Welcome, and thank you for coming to the show today. Senpai, why are you dressed in that outfit? You know how when you get a mosquito bite and pinch the nearby skin, which hurts but makes it itch less? Huh? 
Uh, I guess. So I was thinking about that, and I thought, is it possible? Maybe the solution to getting over my stage fright and embarrassment is just to wear an even more embarrassing outfit! I'm worried about your future, Senpai. Today's performance begins with the cups and balls. I can't look away. Wow, you already love the trick that much? Not what I said. Just have to stay calm. Don't get drawn into this deviant stuff. Look at her, she's red as a beet. Does she really think she can get over stage fright just by changing her outfit? As usual, she'll fail the minute she's in front of an audience. So I hold the ball tightly and... there! Huh? Isn't that a mystery? When I open my hands, the ball has disappeared! Huh? Oh, oh, I'm sorry, I didn't see it. Well, of course you didn't see it. That's a testament to my skill. Oh, come on, spare me the I got you look. Next trick. Next, as you can see, I've sandwiched these balls between the cups. Sandwiched? Yeah, I bet it's soft in there. Huh? No, actually, the balls are quite hard. And now I'll use my magic wand. When I stroke the side of the cups with the wand, it has a magical effect. Would you look at that? All the balls have moved to the bottom cup. I pulled it off, even with him watching. Awesome. Truly awesome. So tell me the truth. How did you enjoy the big cups and balls show I did, assistant? I had a pretty good showing today, huh? Yes, your cups were amazing. Hooray! <laughs> <laughs>